And as the mock accreditation exercise commences nationwide, uh, INEC has assured Nigerians that whatever challenges experienced during the mock accreditation with the bimodal voters uh, accreditation system machines will be fixed and improved upon before the forthcoming general elections. Anek National Chairman in the charge of Kaduna FCT Nasirwa Amplitude State, Mohamed Aruna, gave the assurance at the monitoring at uh, Rikachum uh, polling unit in Kaduna State. Uh, Plus TV News correspondent uh, Habila Darfa, who was there for this report. No, Volunteer registrants came with their PVCs to verify and authenticate credibility of the machines and to ensure if they will vote during the polls. Idris al Hassan was the first to be accredited. He described the processes as less cumbersome and hoped it will be maintained during the elections. I'm the first person that has been credited. Very, very, very easier to accredit everybody that can. The process that started with the checking of the list, name of the person, and also the voters card, you show them their, your voters card. Then after, they will snap the picture. And also the, you do the thumb, thumb print. It's not just long. It is take me only three, three, three minutes. The INEC electoral officer in charge of Igabi local government area, Fatima Garba, said the process was fast and smooth and a large number of voters will be accredited within a short time during the elections. Uh, the uh, entire accreditation process uh, has been uh, smooth, uh, I, I went smoothly. So this uh, process is a drastic uh, improvement, of course, compared to the smart card reader that was used during the 2019 uh, elections. So far, since we started this exercise, the turnout has been quite impressive. People have been coming out uh, to participate in this exercise as volunteers. In the morning, we met a few people already uh, waiting for us for, to participate in this exercise. So, so far, like I said earlier, the process has been, uh, has take, has been uh, of course, successful. And we are hopeful that, inshallah, with what we have witnessed today, the 2023 general elections will be, of course, more, uh, will be much more successful uh, with the way the uh, mock accreditation exercise, of course, took off. One of the challenges that came up during the mock accreditation exercise in this polling unit was the refusal of the Beavers machine to accredit one of an identical twin because of the facial features. But INEC National Commissioner Mohammed Aruna says there is no cause for alarm as the machine has thumbprint and facial to verify voters, saying the commission will address and improve on it. In just a few seconds, most, most of it, an average, let's say one minute, which is really good to be a policy issue. And we'll have to take, take it over at the commission level. Uh, but, but there's enough time, three weeks, so we'll be able to sort it out. It's very it's isolated. One out of how many? 65? No, that have been done here. Only one had that. And even that, they were able to do it because they used the fingerprint when they could do it. There are hopes that there will be no each with the machines during the elections. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.